G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a black view that has, I'm not sure the exact model of this one, but down the bottom here, we do have rocks and, and stones that have gotten into the loudspeaker. So I'm gonna be opening this up and clearing that out. Hopefully, it should be relatively straightforward. T7. A T7 is moving the back screw, which I'm hoping we can just take off this cover, this rubber bit at the back here, and get directly into there to clean it. Go, one, two. Three. Now I do see another four of them around the camera module here. I'm going to assume that they're the same length. Uh, I do seem a bit smaller. But I'll take them out anyway, just to see. And then we'll try and pry the back cover off and find out that it's still, it's still uh, screwed in there. These ones, I'm not too sure if they are T4 as well, uh, T7 as well, or if it's just the, the pressure on top being able to spin it. Get that removed. Let's see if this back cover will come off. Pry tool. Ah, these sides do feel like they're screwed in as well. So let's say we're going to have to take those off as well. I'm holding down the camera button. It's handy. I don't know where that torch button is. There we go. I'll try a different screw for the side. T4, give that a shot. T4 fits well. I'm going to assume these metal bits on the side need to come off to get in there, as it's probably that has these come off. And then you can get the plastic off. It all depends what the order is of disassembly for this device. Screws at the bottom, from what I can see. There we go, those screws are out. Yep, this comes off now. Button falls out. Is that a fingerprint scanner or a bumper button? Go over this side as well. There we go, that comes off. And let's get this back cover off now. One more hidden in the bottom there. Also using a T4 here. And we are not quite in. We're into the phone section here. Which I believe this is the battery connector, so we'll disconnect that. No. No. Might be slightly hidden on me. There and there. Little overview of it. Next up is here where I want to get into. Which looks to be a few Phillips head screws. Now what's going to be the best way to clear this dust? Probably going to be leaning towards using an air compressor. Purely for the fact that trying to wipe it with a brush 
It's magnetized stones that are going to be sticking to the loudspeaker. So because of that, you brush it and they just stick straight back to it because it's magnetized. Okay, this looks to be stuck. There we go. As we can see there, we're not looking too crash hot. Some of that can be brushed off, but I will take off this little protector and have a look underneath. Looks slightly better. Now if I remove this, how are we looking? Grab a screw for that. And this one I suspect is possibly already damaged. Major stones I can see around there. So no, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'll proceed to put this back together. Get the seal back in line with where it should be. Yeah, that looks like it pushes down to here. And let's just do the reverse. I feel like from the noise that this was producing and the, the sound of the, the loudspeaker, this won't probably help it. As I reckon it's already too far gone. There was no noticeable stones or anything I could find already stuck onto the loudspeaker. Because they were already stuck there, or they weren't already sitting there, it's not a good sign. If I opened it up and there's a large rock sitting straight onto the to the magnet itself, then I would be thinking, sweet. We can sort this out, but in this instance, I don't think that's going to be the case. Now, one screw in the bottom. If I can line it up, there we go. There. Uh, I'll go to the four on the outside first. So even though I use a T7, the T4 is the correct fit. So it must be just the torque I was pushing on it to unscrew it. Where T4 is way better. There's really not much more to say about this particular model of phone. I can't say I've really seen one of these before. Just because you haven't seen it before doesn't mean you can't work on it. Especially when it's issues like what this one had or has. You always try to have the positive out outlook on repairs, but you can't repair them all, you can't fix them all. As much as you try, it's not always the case. Yeah, next up from here. Let's have to loosely sit that in here. Like so. Put this over the top. And line it up. Get a few screws into there. It's also one thing I'm not overly a fan of with cheap, tough phones is because they're designed to be tough, they're designed to be beaten up, broken. But the problem is all phones are still a phone. They're still gonna break, they're still gonna snap. Something's gonna fail. And because they're such a an uncommon phone, then 
there's virtually no spares for them. So I find when the tough phones finally do break, you replace the whole phone. And depending on how much you paid for it, you might have paid, well, let's say you might have spent, I don't know, what's a good figure? Let's say you spent $500 on one of these and the loudspeaker's now failed. And you had that phone for six months. So instead of having a phone that might break a few times, you now, you can't even cover the cost of repair. So for example, if you had an iPhone, like an Android phone and you paid 500 bucks for it and broke it and it was a common model, like a Xiaomi, And then with those budget phones, since there's millions of them getting sold, not just hundreds of thousands, you'd be able to source replacement parts for it. Granted, I haven't looked up to see if there would be replacement loudspeakers for this model of phone, but I feel like being that there's very little brand name on it and can't have seen one of these ones before, I really don't think there's gonna to be too much out there. Put the SIM tray back in, there, to here. And that's one phone reassembled. Ah, there we go. There's the about model. A Blackview BV9800 Pro. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. We're not better, or be great, but we're not bad.